Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on three different party looks. Kind of random, I hope it works, but we shall see. Anyway guys, I hope you like this video. I'm just going to get into it, but if you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe, we would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. The first look is going to be a red lip and a slinky sophisticated dress. This video came to me because I have a Christmas party to go to and I didn't know what to wear. I decided not to buy anything new, so I'm just going to be styling these outfits with things I already own in my collection. The first look is a very chill, sophisticated red lip, and I'm going to be using a red lip I've actually shown you guys a couple of times recently. It is the Lisa Eldred True Velvet Lip Color in the shade Velvet Jazz. Just a really, really nice red lip, and I feel like it's the one I've become most comfortable with, and also it's not too deep, and also I think it will go really nicely with the outfit as well. I also considered the Glossier Generation G in Cranberry, which is a really nice berry shade. It's like a nice wash of color if you don't want something as intense. I'm gonna use the lip liner in the shade Decade. I won't use too much though because it doesn't really need it, but it does help me stay within the lines a little bit. So now I need to put on my dress. I've never worn this with tights, so that's something new. I'm gonna take this off now and try on a kind of smoky brown eye with this vintage dress here. Last time I wore this, I wore it with boots. But it's just such a classic dress. It's one of those 80s cuts that's always nice. Because I already have like a brown eye look on I can just add to it so that's what I'm going to do for this eye I'm going to make a brown smoky eye and I'm going to use some of my favorite brown products one of my favorite brown pencils for inside my eye it's the classic brown eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury uh, my favorite brown lip liner pillow talk intense Charlotte Tilbury my favorite creamy Eye, eyeshadow product which is the caviar stick in cocoa from Laura Mercier and one of my favorite creamy liners for on top of my lid which is the Victoria Beckham dark brown I believe it's called so I'm going to use those I'm also going to give it a bit of pizzazz a bit of jazz by putting on the Victoria Beckham mink one of my favorite favorite products this is just their lid luster but it's also one of my favorite lid toppery products and I haven't used it at all this year so I felt like it was due a comeback and I'm going to use a bit of the Charlotte uh, Eyes of a Star to kind of set my cream eyeshadow. So first up, I'm going to line my eyes with the eye pencil. I'm using this brown from Charlotte. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Charlotte Tilbury is going to be launching a new foundation-y tint product. And it's going to be coming out January 6th. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Do you want to see it? I think she might be do a comeback maybe uh let me know what you think she might not but this is it on it's just giving me a bit of smoke the thing i like about this is it's a nice dark eye eyeliner without going for a black it just gives me a bit of definition without looking like too too harsh so i'm going to add a bit of the laura mercier Caviar stick in cocoa. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. Just a little bit, because I'm trying not to disturb my mascara. Even though I did enjoy the red lipstick, I do feel a lot more comfortable in a lip color that's just my own color. Don't know if it's just me, maybe I'm boring. I think I am. It's going to sweep my eye with a bit of this deep dark brown from Charlotte, eyes of a star. 
and I just like to use this to set my caviar stick. I think they work really well together because this is not too powdery, it's not too heavy, it's just a nice light perfecter and already I'm really enjoying this kind of smoky eye. Now I'm going to add in the mink from VB. I'm just going to add a bit here. So this is a more sultry, deep version of a glitter eye. You can add it up, you can build it up even more if you want to. Since I'm going brown on the eyes, I'm going to keep the lips quite chill. Initially, I wanted to try on the Oma Beauty one. So I'm going to try it on, see how it looks. I can always take it off. So this is the Oma Beauty in the shade Angela. Really pretty. I don't know if it's a bit brown or if it's kind of a vibe. So I'm gonna put my dress on and see. Something kind of cool about it, but it might be a bit too 90s. I'm going to try it with the pinkier one just to see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to use the Fanda from Makeup by Mario. So this one's a bit different, this one's a bit more movie. And I really like the Makeup by Mario ones for going out because they do tend to last a lot longer than other mattes and other lipsticks in general that I have. It's just very long lasting matte lipstick. I don't know why, there's just something about it that's very long lasting and really nice. So this is the shade Fanda. I also really like the shade Jessie. Either or are fine, they're very, very similar. If you watch my video, you'll see they're practically the same. So this is Fanda. I might just bring a bit more of my brown in. Just put a bit more liner on. So guys, that is it with my hair tied up. Looks a bit more chic, looks a bit more sophisticated. Guys, this is look two. I'm feeling this look a lot, actually. I'm loving the shoulders. I'm loving this. And I also quite like the lip and the eye. I think they work together quite nicely. So, so far, this is my favorite. I'm back, starting to look a bit worse for wear. <laughs> my hair, also, what's going on? Um, so, last up is my little Reformation dress. I can't remember what it's called. Love this one. Uh, but I don't know if it's the one for tomorrow. But I do like it a lot. I thought, think also maybe I'll do some kind of halfy uppy downy thingy. Just taking off the lip. I'm going to take off the eye because it needs to come off, although I miss it already. Last but not least, I'm going to actually use the Tom Ford Lava Luster. I was really unsure of whether to use the Pat McGrath Voyeuristic Vixen, which I do go on about all the time, or whether to use the, the Tom Ford Lava Luster. I think I'm gonna use Lava Luster. I think I'm also gonna regret it, but I'm gonna go for it. So first up, I'm going to put a little bit of the Tom Ford Abyssinian on my lid. Don't need it, just like to use it occasionally. Neutralization. I think it just makes the glitters look a bit more even. But you really don't need it, but I just like it. 
any excuse to use it, I will find it. Oh, I look bright already. This is the Love Luster. Love this a lot. I'm going to use my favourite shade, which is the red, the ready gold. And then I'm going to, if I feel like I need to, use maybe one of these two as a little inner corner jazzerupper. And I like this because it's easy. I don't have to layer it with anything if I don't want to. It's just easy life. The only thing is I do like to go quite close to the lash line, but because I've already got mascara on, I can't quite do that. So that is the Love Luster in the maroon, just so easy, such a nice, easy, fun eye. I'm going to use a tiny, tiny touch of this silver, taupe, taupey silver, which is this. I'll show you swatches on. The thing about these glitter lids is you don't need much on your lips. It's it's nice to balance, so. Also, I quite like the fact that it's a completely flat compact. That's quite nice. You don't need to add anything. I just do it because I feel like I should. And I'm gonna add a bit of the gold just to warm it up a bit. So easy and I think because of the way this is looking and making me feel it's very like go go dance the 60s I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of liner I'm thinking either to use the Byredo Amber in Furs which I do really like it's a nice chill lipstick might be a bit much with the eye or just use a little gloss, and this is an old favourite of mine, which I haven't really used this yet. This is the Pillow Talk Lip Gloss. I think I might use this, I haven't used it in ages, and it might make me feel a bit more lightweight. So I'm going to use this glamorous lip gloss from, you know who, <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury. That's the look I was thinking of. It's a bit 60s, a bit more fun. I'll show you it close up. This is my favourite blazer. So you can wear it like this, like a fashion girl. Oh, I'm a fashion girl. It looks quite cute. Kind of a vibe. Or I can put my sleeves in it like a normal person and just live my life. Also cute. I like it like this. I think you do need to style this dress a little bit, especially if it's a bit roomy. And I think that looks a lot better. So guys, that is it. That is my finished look. Those are my three different party looks and my three different outfits. Let me know in the comments down below. Will you be buying anything? Will you be trying anything? Which one did you prefer? Which one was your favourite? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.